Hey guys, welcome to my channel Baking with Nupur at Baker's Delight. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful milk bread loaf. Can you see the texture, how soft it is? This is what you're going to learn today. If you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. To make this bread loaf, you are going to need flour, any all-purpose flour, some milk powder, sugar, some butter, a little bit of salt, milk, yeast and caster sugar. And here is a pan, bread loaf pan and some tea towel. First, we have a little bit of warm milk here in which I'm going to add the caster sugar and the yeast and let this bloom for 10 minutes. Give it a little stir and let it sit. You can even use the instant yeast variety. In that case, you do not need to rest it for 10 minutes. You can instantly add all your ingredients and whisk away. I'm going to make my dough in my stand mixer. I've taken the hook attachment and first I'm going to add in the salt at the bottom. After adding our salt, I'm going to add the flour. And to that, I'm adding my milk powder and caster sugar. And then I'm going to add them all together. Into this flour, I'm going to add in our yeast mixture which had been resting for 10 minutes. Give it a good stir and add it all together. Remember, we don't need to knead this for a very, very long time, just about 5 to 6 minutes. And then we are going to add the butter. Our dough has been mixing for 5-6 minutes. Now we are going to stop the dough mix and see how it's done. See, it's sticking to our dough hook. But at the same time, there's a blob right at the bottom. So this is the perfect consistency. I'm just going to clear the hook and then I'm going to add in my butter. To check if it is done correctly, when you take it off the hook, it's not going to be that sticky. It's going to come off easily, just like mine is. Now is the correct time to add in our butter. After mixing in the butter, we whisked it for about 2 minutes and now our dough is completely ready. Let's take it off on a lightly flat surface. Just flour your surface a little bit and take out your dough. So once you take out your dough, just cover it lightly with some flour and use your palm to just roll and fold it very gently and then in a lightly greased bowl, put it, cover it with a tea towel and we are going to let this rest for at least an hour. After an hour, you will see that your dough has risen. Let's check ours. Wow, see how beautifully our dough has risen. It's almost doubled in size. Let's lightly punch a hole in it. And then, once again, flour your surface lightly and take out the dough. Be very gentle with this dough now. What we are going to do is we are just going to fold it a couple of times using the end of our palm. Just a couple of kneads. That's it. You don't need to knead it too for too long or for a lot. Just a little bit. And then we are going to flatten it out on this very surface. Just follow how I'm doing. Just flatten it out using your fingers. And then we are going to roll from one side. We are going to make it like a Swiss roll. There. Now start from one end and just slowly roll it. There. Now we are going to put this into our greased loaf tin. 
let's take our greased loaf tin this is the one i'm using so i'm just gonna gently lift it and put this in the loaf tin and we are going to let this proof again for another 45 minutes or an hour cover it with the tea towel once again and let this proof for an hour's time there just cover it and let this sit in a warm place after an hour i'm gonna see how my dough has risen you can already see from the top there's a slight dome and see this is how beautifully it has risen now our loaf is completely ready to be baked now that it's baked let me show you how beautifully this has baked now we are going to brush the top with some butter to give it that extra shine and that extra softness let's take some room temperature butter and let's just scrape it very very gently we do not want to crack the soft surface very gently just butter it and we baked this at uh, oven temperature of 200 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes there just butter it as much as you like there's no harm in a little more butter now let's look closely how beautiful this loaf looks we're gonna let this rest and cool down for at least 20 to 30 minutes before we slice it after five minutes i took it out of the loaf pan and now let it cool now it's time to slice it just look how soft this loaf is and closely look at the texture so beautiful and so super soft guys you have to try this recipe it's a really really wonderful loaf that you're going to make yourself i hope this video was helpful to you if you liked it please do subscribe until next time happy baking